Henry Kissinger has died. Henry Kissinger is of course a murderous war criminal, an exceptionally murderous war criminal. I will never celebrate anybody's death, and I don't think we should, but we should remember that Kissinger was a depraved monstrosity, and we should remember his countless victims. Henry Kissinger is responsible for the death of countless people. He is perhaps most famous for his foreign policy decisions regarding Cambodia. Henry Kissinger bombed Cambodia and killed hundreds of thousands of innocent civilians. Cambodia is still littered with unexploded bombs to this day. Even decades after Kissinger's decisions, he is still murdering civilians. Henry Kissinger's murderous bombing campaign destabilised Cambodia and empowered Pol Pot and his fanatical supporters. This drenched Cambodia in even more blood. Henry Kissinger, the smart, pragmatic statesman, in seeking to defeat the communist menace, he destabilised Cambodia and empowered the most depraved communist regime of them all. The only thing that Henry Kissinger does pragmatically is slaughter innocent people. Kissinger has been very good at that. People should never mistake amorality for pragmatism. Henry Kissinger infamously prolonged the Vietnam War. Henry Kissinger helped to facilitate massive bloodshed in Bangladesh and East Timor. Henry Kissinger has been associated with a string of assassinations. Henry Kissinger has been involved in countless reprehensible foreign policy decisions. This is a man whose hands drip with the blood of innocent people. Henry Kissinger subjected countless people to suffering and slaughter. Nobody should mourn for him. Henry Kissinger was a vicious, bloodthirsty monster. To mourn for him is to mock the memory of his countless victims. To shed a tear for Henry Kissinger is to piss on the graves of countless dead civilians. Henry Kissinger is not a pragmatic foreign policy genius. Henry Kissinger was a bloodthirsty monstrosity. I am sure many establishment figures will be so sad and mournful about his death. Remember what they are sad and mournful about. The death of a murderous, disgusting war criminal. The death of a man whose hands are caked with human blood. They mourn for a man who has slaughtered an incomprehensible number of people. Remember what their mourning says about them.